Hey, welcome back. Here is a easy way to style your dynamic header. So go into edit. You're going to edit site header. Th this site is already set up with the dynamic header. Um, but basically how you want to do this is go to style first, choose dynamic. And basically what this means is it's like inheriting some of the properties of this first section. So your hero image or whatever you have in the first section, I'll show you real quick. When you scroll, if you choose for it to follow you, your header is going to inherit the background color of this first section. So for that reason, you always have to be strategic about, okay, so it's overlaid on a photo, which means my text should be white. And then the background has to then be dark as your text and everything are in light mode. So edit site header. So you set up that style to dynamic. Um, but outside of that, you can start, you know, getting creative with it. So I always do the fixed position. Um, that just means that the header follows you as you scroll down the page, flips to that background color and follows you as you scroll. Nice sticky header. You can choose, it can either follow you in a basic way, meaning it just follows you. Um, if you choose scroll back, it does, it works a little differently. So it kind of disappears as you're scrolling. But as you scroll back up, it pops back in. So kind of nice. Um, I tend to lean toward the um, basic style just so that people are, are, are never confused. It's always right there for them. Um, something else you want to adjust with this is here in the desktop tab, I always really play with the vertical padding. So, you know, you don't want there to be all of this extra space because then as you scroll, I'll show you that bar that follows you is going to become, uh, I have it set, sorry, so I have mine set to where the logo shrinks. I put that code in the in the post, so you'll be able to do that as well. But if you didn't have your logo shrinking, you would have this really huge header bar following you around, which is never super appealing. So always wanna adjust your vertical padding accordingly. Of course, everything else, you can set up your element spacing and link spacing to make sure everything fits correctly. But the next most important thing for this is one, you wanna choose a photo, of course, that the overlay looks nice on. So making sure that you can, you know, your, your navigation's legible, all of that works. And then this first section, go to colors. You wanna make sure that you've chosen a dark color or a color that does not interfere with your site logo. So if I were to choose this color here, half of my logo wouldn't show up. So that's where it gets kind of strategic is figuring out, you know, which background does it inherit? How does that work? Um, one thing I do like to do is choose, I usually choose like one of the second ones. So like darkest two or dark two to do this. Let's say darkest two, go into your style panel, colors, darkest two. And then sometimes I'll change the section background to be just slightly transparent. And I'll show you how that works. So I'll save. Save. <laughs> and you can see as you scroll, now the black isn't as opaque, it's slightly transparent. So that's how it inherits the style of that hero image or just that first section underneath. So if you, again, if you choose dynamic, you have to be prepared for it to inherit that style. Um, but that's it, super simple. This one looks really sleek. It's a little bit tougher to get right with the colors, making sure, again, here in the style panel, you've set your button color and your link colors and everything to show up appropriately. But if you do, it looks great.